Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video we're looking at a, another dropship and this one is called the Pegasus A-Class dropship which is this lovely thing right here. So it's a fairly large ship with a lot of guns on it and it even has opening and closing doors on the sides. So there we go, they can open up and you can get inside to carry a few people in and then of course you can close them all up and you can go off on your merry way. Pressing F10 and finding it in the spawn menu, the Pegasus, a dropship, is 4,754 small blocks using none of the DLC packs and no mods. So coming out of there, it's time to have a quick look around the outside and then we'll fly around for a bit and maybe slam it into a mountainside. So going all the way around to here, this is what we get. At the very front here, we got ourselves a nice load of galling guns to leave a big hole in our enemies when we decide to shoot them. To the left and the right of that, we got a road ahead, purely there for decoration. And just below that, we got a camera to help aim our guns. Coming up and above, we're going to have a double fighter cockpit setup, where the front one is going to be to fly this thing around and control all the important stuff about this ship. And the one behind it is all about the guns. We can fire our galling guns and take manual control over our turrets. As we move around the side of our cockpit, we got some unfinished LCD screens and we've got a finished one over here with a warning label on it, which is very nice. Moving away and coming over to here, we've got some more galling guns and a little spotlight just hidden the way around there and a large atmospheric thruster to help push us around. Moving around the side of that, we're going to see some more fancy block works, an injector, which I'm not too sure is actually connected up to anything, but is there if you want to use it. And we've got a piston head for some more decoration. Continuing along, we've got a galling gun with some green lights on the side there, as well as some more sneaky wheels for some additional decorations there. Continuing along, this is our doorway to get in and out. We will need to use our fighter cockpit to open up the doors, but once we're on the inside, we have a handy little button which we can press to close it all up. But on the inside here, we've got a bunch of little chairs for us to sit on, some LCD screens with a bunch of scripts added on, such as the artificial horizon and the enemy radar, plenty of access points to put stuff in, as well as a emergency access to our reactor. Yes, we will come back into this a bit later. Along the side, we've got an ion thruster, so we do feature all three types, so we're good for pretty much everywhere. But this ion thruster has been surrounded by some blast door edges and a nice little regular blocks going all the way around that. Continuing along, we've got some hydrogen thrusters there. Then moving all the way over to here, we then got some more air vents for some decoration. Moving across onto our wing, we've got a merge block, which we could attach a missile onto if we wanted to set that up with a script. That's entirely up to you. And then coming all the way around to the end, we then got some nice blocks there with another green light. Moving towards the back, we got some more atmospheric thrusters, as well as some more fancy blast or edges there, just to act as some, what I would think to be a small vent. Then we come across to here, we've got some more wheel blocks with some rotor heads on them. And then at the back here, we've got our main thrust, which is going to be two large hydrogen thrusters, and we can see our two large atmospheric thrusters, which are attached onto the wings. Moving all the way back, we're going to see some more rotor heads there, and this is the absolute back. We've got another little fin, with some red lights on it. Coming up and above, we're gonna see some more great block works and some more hydrogen thrusters. We can see the tops of our merge blocks on the wings, as well as our hydrogen tanks, and some more great use of the unfinished blocks, which I believe this time is the unfinished window blocks. We got another piston head and an ore detector if you wanted to use this as a scouting ship, a connector to connect up to a base or to another ship to recharge this thing, some parachute hatches just in case, a another button there which we'll press later on, and then we've got another turret there just to help with those pesky drones or missiles that get past the other turrets. Moving towards the front, some more blast or edges blocks for some decoration and an antenna to make sure you can never lose this ship. Then we come all the way around to here and underneath it, I think we'll be able to get a good look. Yes, we will. We can see the bottom of our cockpit, which has got a bunch more rounded blocks and some more unfinished spotlights and piston heads. Moving over to here, this is our landing gear. Yes, we lose our traditional landing gear. Instead, we've got a blast or edge with two wheels attached onto it. Wheels are going to be our replacement for our landing gear all throughout the bottom of this ship. 
So we can see all the way at the back there, some more wheel blocks to help us bounce down onto the ground and then do take off without worrying about our landing gear, locking onto the ground and having to unlock that in an emergency. Yes, moving along, we've got some more hydrogen thrusters, another merge block there to connect yourself up. We can see the bottoms of our amstrick thrusters. Then moving along to our main portion of the body, we've got another large hydrogen thruster and some more small ones. Some more wheels to help us land down onto the ground without damaging the ship. Another connector, some more wheel blocks and some more thrusters. And that is the very back of this ship. A hell of a lot of detail has gone into the ship and it's absolutely amazing what people can come up with with all the vanilla blocks. But with that done and out of the way, I think it's time to get into my character and we'll go and head on inside. So coming all the way around to here, I did forget we do need to press the button from the cockpit. So just coming over to here and pressing 7 and 8, we can now open that up. And we'll be able to go and head on inside and see what the passengers get to see. Coming all the way up to here, this is what we get. We've got a button which we can close everything up and we'll be nice and safe inside here. A button just above here which is going to be for our interior lights on and off. So we're nice and bright in here and don't have to resort to our own lights. There's our scripts where we can see our integrity of our ship, our artificial horizon and enemy radar. Access points for containers and reactors. And we've got air vents in here just in case we need it. Over here we've got some more ejector blocks which are currently not doing anything. I don't think they're attached onto anything because it would seem a bit weird for you to say out a bunch of ore onto your passengers. And of course around here we've got ourselves a survival kit to make sure we can respawn on the ship and to heal ourselves up. Yes, coming out of there. And coming around to the top, we do have another button press, which is this one right here, which is going to be to switch the lock for our connector on and off. Coming around to here, let's just go and get into our rear fighter cockpit first. So there we go. We have a few controls, like I said, about the turrets. Number one will be to view the camera straight forwards, which is just below all our cockpits. And number two will be to fire all our gallon guns. Number three is a emergency switch on and off to make sure you don't accidentally blast something you want to keep. Number five is another toggle switch for our turrets. And six, seven, and eight is manual control for the sides, the top, and then the other side. There we go. And number nine is for our parachutes to manual open and close. And I think I just damaged something on the top. I think I just shot the antenna over there. Never mind, eh? On tab number two, we then got controls for our thrusters, where we can press two, three, and four to turn on our atmospheric, hydrogen, and ion thrusters. Number five will be for our reactor on and off, and number six will be for our batteries to turn them on and off as well. Seven for our beacon, eight for our antenna which is now destroyed, and number nine for our laser antenna. Tab number three is empty, so we need to switch to the front cockpit. So number one for the front cockpit is to turn on and off our camera, so if you want to stop your second pilot, your co-pilot from viewing something naughty, you can switch that off and save their eyes. Number two, once again, is for our galley guns to fire them all together. And number three is our toggle switch on and off for them. Number four is another switch for the turrets on and off if you want manual control over them. And five and six is for our connectors top and bottom. Seven and eight is for our doors on the side where we can press them together and they'll open up to allow you to get people in and out. And then we can close them up and fly away. Number nine, once again, is for our parachute hatches to open and close. Tab number two, we then got a blank spot in number one, and everything else is going to be the same as our second cockpit, where we've got controls for our thrusters, reactors, beacon, antenna, and laser antenna. And on tab number three, we have nothing else, so I think it's time for a quick little thruster test. So going forwards, this is what we get. We are quite slow, so it's going to take some time to get out of a combat zone and get your people to safety. Stopping as well is quite slow, so we will need to make sure there's plenty of room between you and your destination to make sure you don't go slamming into it and destroying everything in the process. Going left and right, we are exceptionally slow, so we need to be very careful with this to make sure we're not going too fast and we'll continue going along and slam into something and destroy the ship. Going down, we are very fast compared to everything else and I will be very careful because I've already destroyed one ship by going down way too fast. Then going up, we are quite slow once again, but it's good enough. Wheeling my mouse around, we got a nice lot of control over here. Plenty of weight so we're not too floaty and just right for this size of ship. So what we're going to do to finish this off is, first of all, we're going to shoot up this other ship right here. And then we're going to charge ourselves into a mountainside and see what happens. 
I have no idea what's going on with the frame rate. It just does not seem happy shooting that ship. So I think we'll just go and charge along and just go straight into that. So we're almost at this mountainside to destroy ourselves to finish off this video. And yes, it's a very nice ship. A great deal of detail has gone onto it and fantastic work by the creator to use so many vanilla blocks to give it that great look. And if you wish to download and play around with it yourself, there will be a link to it in the description below. Here we go, finally, straight into it. And there we are, pretty anticlimactic. We didn't really do too much damage. Our cockpit is still usable and we simply lost our guns and camera at the front. So you are perfectly fine with slamming into something. Not too much damage is going to happen. And yes, as I said, there'll be a link to it in the description below. I'll be back with another video sometime soon. Bye bye.